with another exciting review time. Uh, today, now, right now, I am reviewing. The Legacy White Tiger's Word. And let me tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous. But, as soon as I get this situated, you will see for yourself. This is the box. It's very, very reminiscent of the 90s box. Uh, over here we got showing that it can combine with the Zords. I don't have that one, but I have the 19, uh, 19, <laughs> but I have the uh, 2012 release, 2009 release, the one without the diecast parts, the Megazord. Uh, that's the one I have. And, uh, here's the back of it, showing it, metallic paint, die-cast parts, no stickers, the vein, the, the bane of everyone's existent, it's existence in the 90s with the old ones. So without further ado, here is... The 2015. It's 2015. Here's the 2015 Tiger's Award. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't light up or anything. Doesn't need to. It's gorgeous. The detail is fantastic. Uh, like I said, no, no stickers, no decals. It's all paint, and it's beautifully painted on. Uh, there are no hiccups. Everything's painted. And it's just all around very, very nice. As you can see. So, um... Let's transform it into battle mode, shall we? So, just leave that like that. Pull these up. Put these in. Take out a sword. Face, drop down that, and there you have and there you have the white tiger's word. Now he's got a few things. His arms can move like this all the way around. He's got a little joint right there here that just makes it go out this far that's all nothing more nothing less uh, he can swivel at the forearm let me set down now it's a bit easier this way can swivel at the forearm, all the way around. I can do all around. Uh, and he's got elbow joints. It's very loud. On both sides. Um, he's got knee joints. For no reason. Let's 
you can do him in like a running pose. Um, but that about covers it for his articulation. Now, I'll switch him back into my tiger mode. Alright, let me show you the sword in his hand before I do that. Boom. Sword is in his hand. Sorry if it's not perfectly focused. Yeah, so let me turn back into White Tiger again. Why do you ask? So, I can show you the comparison with the 90s version. You can see the size difference. We'll just straighten him out just like the way he is. Don't mind the gold green thing, that's my kick, that's my stand for the phone. So, uh, he's falling, he's falling off. Now I'll transform both of them. So see, decals, a bunch of my decals have fallen off. There's no batteries in this guy. But, uh, you can see the difference in his top of his head's there. I think this one look I think the new one looks much better. But um the faces are different. It's much better. So let's transform him. This is the old one. Transform him again. And here are them next to each other. Now, if you can't tell, He's got better legs, more detail, uh, they're spaced out better to make him look more humanized, humanoid. Uh, those are replaced, those are what they should be on here. And then I'll show you a close up of the face. That's his face compared to his face. Show you the wideness of them. 
side angle. You can see all the detail here as opposed to right here, 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 there. I'll show you the back now. Detail on the back is amazing. Look at all that. There's like nothing. And boom. It's a really nice looking sword. Now, here is him next to. Here is him next to the Megazord. And what I like about this is that they can combine. So, what they show on the box is you do this. I do this with his, his feet because it just fits better when you put the feet on and you put the saber tooth and the triceratops. And we can take he just they just kinda clip on. This one's gonna get real annoying to show. It's not that annoying. So, and you pull these out. And you flip these down. Flip this head up. Flip that up. And that's what they show here on the thing. Now, I can't wait for the Thunder Zord to come out. I'm sure they're making it because you're gonna have the attachments for the line here gonna be able to put the phoenix on his arm here it's gonna have the unicorn and the griffin there but the little part that I made up for this is he has little cannons so I take the arms off the megazord off of the clipped part and I flip up this I take the pterodactyl speed and stick them on the so. so now I just clip it on like that. Clip it on like that. Got mega cannons. That's just whole. It's part of the whole Zord, the Zord builder thing. It's really, really cool. Um, back so you can see them in frame. It's really cool. Highly recommend this. Like, they outdid themselves. Uh, Bondi. Just. Pew. He's perfect. I mean, the only thing that can make him more perfect is if the um, Thunder Zords came out right now. So you can attach everything to him. Uh...
I'll show you a little bit more detail before I close it. Uh, he's got his emblem there. It's really small, but it's very detailed. He's got all this detail up here. So you can see it better in light. If you have 80 bucks to spare, perfect. Do it. Now. Um, kids nowadays won't know who these are, but they don't care as long as they have toys to play with, you know? Uh, get it for them. Get it for you. Collect it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm a poet. Didn't even know it. I knew it. It's well worth what I paid for it, and it's beautiful. It's just simply beautiful. Uh, yeah, so, below me, here, in the bottom area, that will be the subscribe button, right down there. And uh, this way, will be the other videos of mine button. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know, subscribe. And uh, also check out the other videos because we have Legacy Saba. We have some Nintendo figures. Uh, Majora's Mask. Uh, Skull Kid figure review, and I'm hoping to have a lot more stuff in the future. So please help me out, help this channel out, help us out, and enjoy. I hope this made you want to purchase this item. Beautiful, beautiful item.